Oh yeah, my name's Phil Willits. I've just done five paintings and I'd just like to show you uh, the paintings that I've done and uh, the procedure in doing them. Thank you. The first one is at Foy. Um, it's an acrylic. Obviously I couldn't, I, this was from a photograph because it's going into the harbour and you couldn't uh, be on a boat and sketch it. So this is from a photograph. I did put extra boats in. That boat there was a boat that I did a drawing at Falmouth. For, and uh, so that was a, a rough watercolour of a particular boat that I that I uh, that I painted in a, a small booklet. Um, after all, the booklet is just for you, so nobody else is going to have a look at it. But it's it's good ha to have a book to go around and just sketch different things. That is St Ives, which we're going to have a look at in in a, in a minute or two. But uh, it's good to have a little book. One of the things which I have discovered in having a little book that you can stick in your pocket is to have a pencil with a with a rubber on the end, and then you you haven't got to muck around having a, a rubber in your pocket. And so, and that's a a good pencil, and that's a black wing, and it's got um, the rubber on the end and and a, and a very soft lead. The next one is an Italian picture. This we went on holiday uh, to Italy last year, and it was the Amalfi Coast. I, I have done another painting of this with this little villa there uh, and that painting sold very very quickly but this is another painting I've, I've just done of it uh, because I quite liked the area uh, and, the, and, the, and, the, and the village and the little cottage or well, a little villa there with the, with the palm trees. This again is my journal that I took with me when we, um, when we went to Italy and there's different drawings that I I did and a couple of notes that I did as we as we went through so it's it's, it's good to have a journal and you can write notes and uh, doing do sketches that's believe it or not that is a Norman castle the Normans were in Italy for quite some time and that's a Norman castle just where we were where we were staying at but that again is is, is a good thing to have and you can sort of dot no, notes again that is a a f First World War memorial, which I quite liked, which I did a, a rough sketch of that. So that's my journal that I take with me when I when I go uh, uh, abroad or in England sketching. These are some watercolours I did of St Ives, and it's the Smeaton's Pier. I think that's how you say it, and that's the end of St Meter's Pier. Um, that was a sketch that I did of that and I included boats and what have you but as I say the, it is good to have a sketch sketch with you and that again is the same pier with the other little boats and this is the, the one of that. So that is the pier and the two lighthouse uh, structures on there. That was quite uh, an awful lot of houses but I just left white space uh, on that one. And that is a sketch I made of the pier with the two lighthouses uh, in there and I, I, I um, put several several boats. The boats there are, are quite different. I did other sketches of boats but those are quite different there. And last of all it's the other one of St Ives and that was the sketch I did of it, of the church and of the lightboat station over there. I, I did that one further away and again different sorts of boats on it. Again a watercolour and I stuck a couple of birds on just for a little bit of, uh, of interest. The final thing I want to introduce is watercolour and it does pay to mix different colours and see what you produce. There's lemon yellow and there's Windsor blue and the different sorts of greens that you can produce and it's very good to have to do this and experiment with this and find out the different sort of colours you can achieve during different sorts of mixes. And uh, there's Naples yellow and there's Cad um, yellow. And so it's, it's good and then introduce them and, 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 and uh, in, uh, do them in, in, in sections and then, and then you know, if you're not sure, you, you can have a look at your chart and you know exactly well what or what colours to expect when you mix these different two colours together. 
The next one is Falmouth. And again, this one is an acrylic. And this is done in a, uh, a frame at the back. I'll just show you, that was the photograph. And as you can see, I kept, I kept that part, but I introduced other boats and I cut part of it up. It is Custom House Key at Falmouth. And just to finish off, that's another sketchbook I bought, I've, I, I use, and that actually is a picture of that little building there. And so I hope that's been useful to you. There's a, a stump. That's another picture that I'm hoping to do a, a, a watercolour or an acrylic of in the future. Well, I hope that's been useful to you. See you again. Cheers.